Hello students, welcome back to our channel with Tech Online. So today we are going to discuss on few important questions on gate food technology subject and this will be our class 1. So let us proceed. Okay, before starting, let me tell you once about our app. Agar aap koi bhi food related exam, jaise FSCI, GATE, XI, XC, Food Safety Officer, Central Food Safety Officer, FCA, jaise other food related exams ke agar preparation kar rahe hain, to aap humare app mein aapko yahan pe various subjects mil jayenge uske related aur in is subjects ke bhi sub topics hain, jiske jaise aap questionnaire series hai ye actually, jaise aap apne preparation ke dauran isme questionnaire series ko solve kar sakte hain aur apne preparation ko aur enhance kar sakte hain. So let us begin now. Okay, the link is given in the description box. Okay, uh, first try to pause the video and uske baad, uh, at the end do comment down your score out of 25. So now let us begin. Number one, renin in is used for production of option A, whey, B, butter, C, cheese, D, none of these. So uh, renin is used for the production of cheese. Actually, renin to enzyme hai, that is chymosine, it's a protein digesting enzyme which causes the milk protein to change it into caseins. And this enzyme, it aids into the curdling of the milk. So, my correct option will be cheese. Question number two. The protein component without its cofactor is termed as option A isoenzyme, option B holoenzyme, option C apoenzyme, option D all of these. So uh, the protein factor, the protein component without its cofactor. So isoenzyme is actually the enzyme that, that differs in the amino acid sequences but it catalyzes the same chemical reactions. So, and holoenzyme is a, a protein component with its cofactor. So, my correct option will be opoenzyme, that is a protein component without its cofactor, that is option number C. Which of the following enzyme is used for tenderizing meat? Option A, bromelain. Option B, papain. Option C, none. Option D, all of the options. So, in tenderization of meat, means it reduces the amount to a detectable connective tissues in meat. Actually, tenderization of meat means it the reduction of the amount of detectable connective tissues in the meat. So, my correct answer is the enzymes are bromelain and papain. These two enzymes, these bromelain is found in uh, pineapple and papain, it is found in papayas. So, these two enzymes help in uh, meat ke tenderization. Mein. So, my option will be option number D, that is all of the options. Question number 4. Enzyme used for destruction of naturally occurring bitter principles from oil. Option A. Glucose oxidase, option B, glucosidase, option B, C, beta glucosidase and option D, alpha glucosidase. So, the enzyme which is used for the destruction of naturally occurring bitterness in oil, so that enzyme is glucooxidase, that is option number B, glucose oxidase. Question number 5, enzyme used in chill proofing of beers. Option A, ligase, option B, protease, option C, pectinase and option D, amylase. So, uh, what exactly is chill proofing? Kya hota hai? Chill proofing, it is a term which is used in beer industries. Actually, when beer production is there, there are chances of haziness. It will create a haziness in it. So, to haziness, to protect haziness, to protect clarity, ko protect karne ke liye, even its brightness and enhance karne ke liye, ek enzyme is used. That enzyme is protease enzyme. So, uh, it is actually used at a temperature of uh, 0 degree, means it's below 0 degree Celsius. So, this enzyme will be used. Kiya jata hai. So, my correct option will be option number B, protease. Question number 6. Which is used in brewing industry in the conversion of starch to maltose for fermentation? So, option A, pectinase. Option B, protease. Option C, lipase. And option D, amylase. So, in brewing industry, starch to maltose conversion ke liye, during fermentation process, which enzyme will be used? Kiya jata hai? It's a it's the amylase enzyme or to be more specific, it's alpha amylase enzyme. So option number D is correct. Question number seven, which enzyme is not 
commonly used for tenderizing of meat. So option A, allicin, option B, trypsin, option C, papain and option D, bromelain. So which enzyme is not used meat tenderization? Ke liye? It's option A that is allicin. So allicin actually kya hai? It's an organosulfur compound which is garlic mein mainly present. Hota hai. Whereas trypsin kya hota hai? Trypsin it's an enzyme which is used to, uh, which is used to digest the proteins. And papain is uh, papaya fruit se paya jata hai and bromelain from the pineapple. So my correct answer will be allicin. Option number A. Next. Dash are the biological catalysts. Fats, proteins, carbohydrates and the enzymes. So uh, enzymes are the biological catalysts. Very easy answer question. So enzymes are the proteins actually that acts as a biological catalysts by accelerating the chemical reactions. Question number 9. Mold inhibitor used in bread is option A. Sodium calcium propionate, B. Sodium chloride, C. Calcium carbonate and D. None of these. So inhibitor which is used in bread. So it's option number A that is sodium propionate and calcium propionate. So this is a synthetic inhibitor which is mainly molds ko inhibit karne ke use kiya jata hai in the bread. Option A. Question number 10. Jam jellies are preserves. Jam jellies and preserves can be preserved by adding sugar at a concentration of 65%, 70%, 40% and 30%. So jam jellies and other preservatives which uh, we actually add karte hai sugar. So actually sugar kya hai? It's a first class preservative. So, it is used kiya jata hai at a concentration of 65% to preserve the jam, jellies and other preservative and other related food products for preservations. So, my correct option will be option number A that is 65%. Question number 11. Tocopherol is an example of option A, anti-kicking agent, option B, antioxidant, option C, flavoring agents and option D, none of these. So, tocopherol. So, uh, it is an antioxidant agent. So we know vitamin E. So vitamin E. So its other dusra naam hai. Uh, that is tocopherol. It is also known as anti sterility vitamin or fat soluble vitamin. So it is vitamin. B. That is option number B. Antioxidant. That's as an antioxidant. Option question number twelve. Bitterness in colocasia is due to option A calcium oxalate, option B calcium chloride, option C sodium potassium oxalate and option D calcium carbonate. So colocasia actually ye ho, actually colocasia kya hai? Uh, in Hindi what we say as the leaves of Arbi. So, so ye jo, isme jo bitterness present hota hai, it is due to the presence of calcium oxalate that is option number A. So bitterness in colocasia it is due to the presence of calcium oxalate present in it. Question number 13. Germination affects nutritive value of legumes by increasing increase in vitamin C content, decrease in trypsin inhibitor activity, increase in enzyme activity all of these. So when the seed, it, uh, jab ek seed germinate karta hai and it's uske nutritional value mein kya hota hai actually it decreases the trypsin inhibitor. So the decrease in the trypsin jo enzyme hai uska reduction hota hai and uh, other jo nutritive contents hota hai wo increase karte hai. So the correct answer is option number B that is decrease in the inhibitor, trypsin inhibitor activity. Question number 14 emission of methylene during transportation of cut flowers causes a disorder called so uh, ethylene emission during the cut flower uh, transportation of cut flowers it causes a disorder that is option number a bud opening opening of the buds option b slipiness option c bend neck option d calyx splitting number 15 in pre-cooling, water is mostly removed by 
ऑप्शन ए कन्वेक्शन ऑप्शन बी कंडक्शन ऑप्शन सी रेडिएशन डी नन ऑफ दिस सो प्री कूलिंग क्या होता है प्री कूलिंग एक प्रोसेस है जो फील्ड हीट्स जो क्रॉप में प्रेजेंट होती है ड्यूरिंग हार्वेस्ट टाइम उसको रिड्यूस करने सो दैट उसका मेटाबॉलिज्म रिड्यूस हो सके एंड उस जो उसके ट्रांसपोर्टेशन या स्टोरेज के टाइम उसमें जो डिटोरिएशन है उसको भी रिड्यूस किया जा सके क्रॉप्स में सो इट इज थ्रू कन्वेक्शन कंडक्शन और रेडिएशन सो कन्वेक्शन क्या होता है कन्वेक्शन होता है एक्चुअली ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट थ्रू अ मेटेरियल बाई डिरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट जब एक हीट और मेटेरियल का कॉन्टैक्ट होता है डायरेक्टली सो दैट टाइम कन्वेक्शन होता है वेर एज कंडक्शन क्या है कंडक्शन इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट थ्रू फ्लूड फ्लूड कैन बी मेरा गैस गैशियस फॉर्म में हो सकता है या लिक्विड फॉर्म में हो सकता है बाय द फ्लूड बाय द मूवमेंट ऑफ फ्लूड इट सेल्फ ओके सो कन्वेक्शन ऑकर्स वेन द फ्लूड इज हीटेड एंड बिकम्स लेस डेंस एंड इट राइजेस तो सिमिलर चीज यहाँ पे हो रही है सो हियर द फ्लूड इज नॉट इन कॉन्टेक्ट विथ इच अदर बट ये क्या है यहाँ पे एक्चुअली जो मेरा गैशियस है जो हीट हीटेड है जो गैस मेरा वो राइज अप हो रहा है एंड द कूल्ड एयर इज गेटिंग इन टू इट सो देर प्रोसेस इज कंडक्शन ऑप्शन नंबर डी रेडिएशन क्या होता है रेडिएशन इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट थ्रू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स means radiation it does not require any medium to transfer of heat rather it requires a uh, vacuum conditions uh, so my correct option is option number b that is conduction next 16 color changes leading to brown gray and other in fresh and cured meat can be arise from biochemical changes physical changes microbial activities or enzymatic activity So, ये जो कलर चेंजेस होते हैं इट्स ड्यू टू द माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी क्वेश्चन नंबर 17, विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लांट हार्मोन हार्मोन इज कंसिडर्ड एज ट्राइप ऑप्शन ए साइटोकाइनि बी जी ए थ्री दैट इज जिब्रोलिक एसिड इथिलीन और डी आई डबल ए सो विच plant hormone is considered as ripen actually ethylene gas it is known as it is also known as the ripening gas which helps the fruits uh, to ripen as it enhances the respiration rate during the ripening of the fruits even jo gibberellic acids hote hain it uh, it acts as a plant growth hormones actually plant growth regulators that modulates various um, physiological biological or chemical molecular process in the plants jo uske uh, germination ke time help karta hai metal metabolisms yield even growth ke time jo help karta hai so my correct option will be option number c that is ethylene number 18 point at which the dried product just become lumpy is known as danger point saturated point critical point or safety point so my option number c is correct since the point at which dried products became lumpy so is point ko bola jata hai critical point next 19 Light peeling is done at a temperature of option is 75 degree Celsius, 84 degree Celsius, 93 degree Celsius and 105 degree Celsius. So light peeling क्या होता है? एक process है for removing the peels of the fruits and vegetables by immersing immersing them in the light solutions. So ये light solutions actually होते हैं hot caustic soda solutions. Uh, then it is followed by uh, tumbling in a wash. to remove the skins and chemicals so ye sab temperature dependent hote hain so this is actually at a temperature of 93 degree celsius that is option number c these are done at a temperature of 93 degree celsius next question question number 20 meat fat is rich in saturated fat unsaturated fat both and none so meat fats are actually uh rich in saturated fats and mono unsaturated fats but maximum they are present in saturated form so so saturated fatty acids are mainly present so option number a that is saturated fat will be the correct answer question number 21 minimum expansion of water occurs in 
ऑप्शन ए स्लो फ्रीजिंग ऑप्शन बी ब्लास्ट फ्रीजिंग सी आई क्यू एफ एंड डी ऑल सो द मिनिमम एक्सपेंशन ऑफ वाटर इट ऑकर्स एट द आई क्यू एफ दैट इज सी आई क्यू एफ इट स्टैंड फॉर इंडिविजुअल क्विक फ्रीजिंग सो ये एक मेथड है ऑफ फ्रीजिंग ऑफ फूड्स इन विच the food is frozen quickly means very quickly and at in, and individually that is why iqf that is individual quick quick freezing question number 22 characteristics of bakery fat is low melting point sharp melting point high melting point all so characteristics of bakery fat it has a sharp melting point question number 23 functions performed by nitrates in cured meat pink color prevent spoilage both and none so actually curing of meat jab hota hai to uh, first of all uska retain kiya jata hai pink color ke liye and secondly to prevent the spoilage so curing of meat by nitrates or nitrites it it can produce a pinkish red color by interaction with the myoglobin present in their muscles so my correct option will be option number c that is both Question number twenty-four. Which one is present in highest amount in finger millet? That is ragi. Option A, thymine. Option B, niacin. Option C, iron. And option D, calcium. So finger millets uh, actually it contains the highest amount of calcium. So my correct option will be option number D. That is calcium. Even finger millets may other nutritious values that are you know, in series may present. होती है जैसे protein इसमें five to eight percent present होता है. Carbohydrate इसमें present होता है around seventy five percent. Dietary fibers present होते हैं. Minerals present होते हैं. So it's a nutritious cereal. Okay, the last question, question number twenty five. Cans treated with acid resistant lacquers. Cans are also known as option A, A enamel, option B, C enamel, option C, R enamel, and option D, none of these. So, जो uh, acid resistance होते हैं, जो cans which are treated with acid resistance lacquers. So, okay, first of all, lacquerings these are of two types: acid resistance and secondly, uh, the sulfur resistance. so depending upon kaun sa food product hame store karke rakhna hai wo depend karega and the acid resistant cans these are lacquered with golden colors for the to prevent the discoloration of the food products so do comment down your score answer for this and also your score out of 25 okay thank